Hello, dearies. Hey, allihopa. Since our last greeting to you, we've been enjoying many wonderful warm summer days at Cobweb Cottage. And the critters have been too. Spending every day in a cottage might feel as if every day is the same. But when you take time to notice small things, you realize that there's different layers of activities in Summer's Serenade. We spent many days outdoors, working alongside with the critters in our daily chores, and working on projects to improve the cottage while the sun is on our side. It's nice to enjoy the sunsets, even though they are crawling closer to our afternoons. It feels like summer is having daydreams of autumn when you feel the heat of the day meet the cool of the night. This was the first summer in three years that we didn't visit Sweden, which was sad to not be able to see our families, but however, the woodlands gave us a gift. Imagine our surprise when we start to notice that the colorful clusters in the brambles behind the cottage, more precious than gemstones, first glowing like a ruby, then turning to a dark amethyst. What we first thought was raspberries turned out to be black raspberries, which we had never even heard of. What we love about brambleberries is that they're all edible, but of course, always make sure when you were foraging. Then came another surprise in the brambles, even redder than rubies. Wineberries covered the doorway to the woods and backdoor of the graveyard. We lost track of time and days, just picking berries at dusk, and rinsing, and drying, and baking, and picnicking, and the best part, enjoying true homemade cottage pies. We had so many berries that when we in our book club started to read Anne of Green Gables, got inspired to try Diana Berry's Raspberry Cordial for ourselves. One thing led to another, and we decided to create an Avonlea themed picnic. On the menu was Marilla's Raspberry Tarts, Matthew's Corn Souffle, Anne's Tea Biscuits and Gilbert's homemade jam. It was a wonderful way to start August, and I'm so glad we enjoyed the bounty of berries while we could, because we had no idea what was coming next. As Anne Shirley would say, I don't know what lies around the bend, but I'm going to believe that the best does. A storm was brewing that tore its way up the east coast. We, like thousands of others, lost power for almost a week. It was a very challenging experience, but we are so thankful that this little cottage is still standing because so many others lost their homes. While the candlelight at night was cozy, we realized how dependent we are on electricity in these modern times and how ungrateful we are for even just running water. 
It opened our eyes to things we can change to be more sustainable. It was a big setback for us and it still hurts a little to think of all the food that we lost, especially our precious berries that would have lasted us all winter. But we got another consolation from Mother Nature when we found blackberry stone, our favorite woodland path. We got back on track with summer's farewell serenade when the sunflowers were blooming, reminding us that there's always a sun behind every cloud. To address that autumn is around the corner, I brushed up my pumpkin carving skills by carving a watermelon. After all, watermelons are the pumpkins of summer. As the butterflies start their journey to warmer places and herbs are being bundled to dry, the crisp mornings remind us that harvest time is here and it's time to gather and give thanks. We can already taste autumn in our favorite crumble pie. It's a recipe that adapts perfectly to any fruit that's in season. Our absolute favorite combination is plums, pears and apples. This is a recipe that we started to make in Sweden and it's been following along with us wherever we live. It brings us a comforting and homeward feeling that we get when living in a cozy cottage. We hope that you get the same experience when you try it for yourself on our blog itsashamminglife.com. We also offer it as an old-fashioned recipe card to download on Patreon. There you can support us monthly and be a Fika friend. Oh, by the way, Tibby our shipmunk would like to know what is your favorite pie. Thanks for joining us at Cobweb Cottage, and if this charmed you, please like, subscribe, and share with a charming friend. Bye for now! Hej då allihopa!